Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about on HANA and we are covering the various features or core concepts of SAP HANA. And as a part of that, in the last two videos, we started with table partitioning. Firstly, we understood the meaning of table partitioning. Then we covered the various strategies for the table partitioning. We covered hash partitioning, round robin partitioning, and range partitioning. We understood the working of various types of partitioning. Now, in this video, firstly, we will understand, yes, in which scenario you need to choose which type of partitioning and then we will cover the advantages of table partitioning. So firstly, we will understand in this scenario or in which scenario we need to choose hash partitioning. Now, when your table, when your table has large number of records or we can say huge number of records and we want to look up for data, look up for data means we are searching for data based upon partition column. We will understand this by the example itself. If you remember, this is the example which we have taken to understand the concept or we can say understand the working of hash partitioning. Suppose we'll go for the requirement. Suppose you have a requirement your table has huge number of records and you want to look up for data and you want to search for data based upon order number. You have huge number of records. Now, in that case, what you can do? You can simply, simply assign order number as a partition column. Then what system will do? System will simply, simply apply the hash function onto these values, into these values, and system will return the hash values. System will apply the hash function onto these values and it will return the hash values. Based upon hash values, it will be assigned to the various partition. Now, how, how you will get the good performance or how you will get the maximum amount of performance now we will understand this suppose you are searching for data suppose we are selecting all the data from which table z order table suppose we are passing where condition now what is the where condition where o and o in s underscore o and o Suppose in the first scenario, the value of order number is 1 and 2, which we pass to this S underscore O and O. Now, we applied hash partitioning. So, in that case, what will happen? System will simply, simply go to the first partition. System will not go for second and third partition. If you have not applied the hash partitioning, then what is happening? System is looking for the whole table to search for order number one and two. Now, in this case, system is simply, simply going for first partition. System is not going for second and third partition. Suppose now we passed the order number one, two and three. Now system will go to first partition, system will go to second partition, but system will not go to third partition. Have you seen how our traversed time is reduced? So in this case, we will get the maximum amount of performance. So whenever your table has huge number of records, huge data is there and you want the maximum amount of performance, then what you can do? You can simply, simply go for hash partitioning. Assign that column. Yes, whenever you will assign that column as a partition column, system will simply apply the hash algorithm or hash function onto those values. 
it will return the hash value and based upon hash value it will assign to the various partition anyway that's the sap headache how sap is applying hash algorithm and how sap is calculating hash value and in that case your traverse time reduce a lot because system will go to that dedicated partition only to look up for data yes so whenever you have huge number of records and you are looking up for data yes based upon partition column and what is the advantage in that case it will directly search in the correct partition without scanning all the partition if you have not applied hash partitioning system will scan the whole table itself yes so this is the main main advantage we will get now we will move on to next type of partitioning when to choose round robin partitioning whenever you have a requirement that each and every partition must have even load means whenever you want to distribute the load as even as possible then always always go for round robin partitioning because you all know in case of round robin partitioning system is simply going for each and every partition simply system rotates all the partition suppose we have 5000 record and five partition system will assign 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 and suppose if new records are coming system will simply rotate through all the partitions it is not the case that system will assign all the records to one partition so whenever you have a requirement that load must be distributed across all the partitions always always prefer round robin partitioning and yes in round robin partitioning there is no need for any column yes because we are the system is assigning the records in a rotation manner now we will move on to third type of partitioning when you need to choose range partitioning whenever you want a logical grouping of data logical grouping of data means what suppose you are saying up from this range to this range it should belongs to one partition this range to this range it should belong to this partition this range to this range it should belong to this partition whenever you want a logical grouping of data and you want to assign it to one partition always always go for range partitioning suppose if i will go for simple example suppose you have a student table and students those who have the marks from 0 to 35 you want to assign it to one partition suppose from 36 to 70 to another partition 71 to 100 to another partition so you are logically grouping the data based upon some criteria so in that case go for range partitioning and in the last video i took the example of company code this company code to this company code one partition this to this another partition this to this another partition so whenever you want to assign the group to whenever you want a logical grouping of data always prefer the range partitioning now we will cover the advantages of table partitioning we cover this full topic but what are the advantages and the first advantage is extremely important you can simply understand in any interview yes if interviewer is not asking okay what are the various strategies what is table partitioning but if system if the interviewer is asking yes why why we are going for table partitioning if you tell this answer yes they can understand that you know the concept of table partitioning so what is the first most important advantage overcoming the size limitation of column store tables you all know we have row storage table we have column storage table yes now if a table is not partitioned it can store up to 2 billion rows 2 billion more rows means 200 crore rows okay because 1 billion is equal to 100 crore 
if you are not going for table partitioning yes the column storage table can store up to 2 billion rows but if you are going for table partitioning each and every partition can store up to 2 billion rows just see how how we are getting the maximum result in case of table partitioning yes because each and every partition now can store up to 200 crore records 2 billion rows yes now we'll simply read their theory in non partition table if a table is not partitioned it can store up to 2 billion rows but you can overcome this limit by distributing the row rows across various partitions and each partition yes can go up to 2 billion rows most most important advantage of table partitioning now will come on to load balancing in a distributed system and i already explained when we covered multiple host now individual partitions can be distributed across multiple host suppose we have multiple host and we assign the table partitions to the multiple host so in that case your load is balanced because this host is working on this partition this host is working on this partition this host is working on this partition previously one host is working on each and every one host is working on the whole table data yes now we have multiple host this host has this much table data this host has this much table data this host has this much table data it means your load is balanced it means the query on a table is not processed by single server but by all the servers and you can see how the load is balanced i just took the example also suppose if one of the host is failed at least you have the backup if you have multiple host your work is distributed there's no need for you to take all the load yes so this is the main main advantage of table partitioning yes in case of table partitioning if you have multiple host yes your load is extremely extremely distributed now we'll come on to yes parallelization and you can understand very well partitioning allows the various operations on the table to be parallelized yes because we have this partition this partition this partition so we can go for multiple parallel operation so whenever you are going for table partitioning yes we have can go for various parallel operations onto the table so what is the summary of this particular video in this video firstly we covered when you need to choose hash partitioning when your table has huge number of records and you know yes you are looking up for data based upon this particular column yes then assign that column as a partition column whenever you will assign that column as a partition column system will simply apply the hash algorithm based upon hash value it will assign it to various partition and the main main advantage is whenever we will traverse the whenever we will look for the records system will traverse only that particular partition it will not go to other partition now round robin partitioning when you have a requirement that load must be distributed across each and every partition go for round robin partitioning because in round robin partitioning system will simply rotate through all the partitions now whenever you want to group the data logically whenever you have whenever you have a requirement of logical grouping of data go for range partitioning and i took the example also now whenever you are going for table partitioning it has the most important advantages yes it overcoming the size limitation of column store table column store table cannot go for more than 2 billion rows but if you are going for table partitioning each and every partition can go up to 2 billion rows yes 
whenever you are going for table partitioning in multiple host system, your load will be distributed across those hosts because one host has to work only that much rows. Yes, one host has to work only that much rows. One host has to work only that much rows. Yes, so your load will be distributed. And yes, whenever you have a partitioning, yes, you can go for yes parallel operations onto that table. Yes, partitioning allows the various operations on the table to be parallelized. So this is all about the table partitioning. So that's it in this video. Thank you.